Chuck and Pete reporting fun. So I, I wasn't sure what to call this video. I was going to call it, I wasn't going to tell you this part two, um, because it's work related kind of, eye scratcher. Um, anyways, I'm going to try to speed as fast as possible. As you know, um, my company, I work for a music company industry and it's very tumultuous right now. It's it's at like the worst it's ever been for us. Um, we lost HMV, that was like 65% of our business. We still have CD sales to Archambault and, and uh, Renault Bray and other companies too that sell online and stuff, Amazon. and So it, it's going pretty good. I've been working full time now for at least almost two months. I only worked part time for a couple of weeks and it was scary, it was pretty scary. But <clears throat> so one of the companies are one of our biggest CD companies. It's hard to explain because we own CDs and artists, our royalties to their stuff. I think some of their full out stuff, yes. And then we had another company, which was another music company that had a lot of French stuff in Quebec. And because of HMV closing down and there's been a lot of turmoil with artists wanting to buy back all their stock and um, just a lot of stuff like that in general. So my boss who owns like 95% of this company that was in the same building as us, just underneath us, <clears throat> he bankrupted it. So it sounds bad, like, oh, a million people lost their jobs, but basically a lot of people were losing their jobs at that company way before we took control of it because of the industry and whatever. So whatever, life goes on. Big businesses, business in general, is very, like, it's strange, and you, no one's your friend. Like, when it comes down to the wire, you or them, everyone's gonna, you know, fight for their, their self. So what happened is my boss was going to court, well, he took my boss to court for something I'm not 100% sure of on whatever, this other company and that's bankrupted and he won, my boss won. So basically at that point there's an auction of all the stuff in their offices. So they gave a price and my boss who has way more money than them bought got one basically because they're not going to like go over what he said so what this means is that we now own all of their office furniture and all their gold records on the walls and all that stuff so we got sent over there to that company while people were there working and they were told yeah, you have half an hour to pack up everything that you that's personally yours in your office and get the fuck out because people are coming to take everything. Like goons. Like, literally. So I wasn't really aware of why we were going to this company. And then when I found out why, when we were at McDonald's, very professional place to tell us this, um, I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, this is what I'm doing today? Like, this is brutal. And we got there, and it was brutal. We walked in, and people were, like, running out. There's only, like, seven girls that work there. And one guy, that's the guy that took my boss to court and lost. And the girls were, some of them were crying. They were very upset. And um, they were leaving with bags and stuff. And they were talking to, like, the main guy that was helping us there. We were told not to talk to anyone, not to answer any questions, nothing. Just pack shit up and go. And it was, it was, I was ashamed and embarrassed that I was part of this. Like, you know, there was about nine of us. And there were a lot of offices. There was about 15 offices and... We had to, all the filing cabinets, if they left their computers behind, uh, anything, everything in the lunchroom, everything. So basically, that's what we did all day. We filled four trucks full of this stuff. <clears throat> Thank God it wasn't super hot, but it was just like, is this happening? Nobody was happy. Like, he's not going to hire movers. He has us and, you know, everyone was working. So, like, you're part-time. Guess what? Come in to work. Two people didn't. That was bad. Anyways, so we got everything packed up. It was brutal. And then we dumped stuff off at our warehouse. And it was like, what the fuck are we going to do with all this furniture? We don't need any here. Like, there were like 50 office chairs and like a bunch of other stuff and receptionist stuff. And so basically, we were told that just destroy it. Basically, my boss bought this shit out of spite for a businessman that he worked for and kept alive in the industry like I was basically doing fuck all for for about five years and he was making a good salary because we found one of his pay stubs in one of the lockers uh the filing cabinets Meh. 
This guy did nothing for $100,000 a year. Anyways, so basically we were told to destroy everything and it looked like this. Get that door out of there. There you go. this get out of it uh yeah it, th those are like the base of, it, of a big l table i don't know if you can see the l tables there so it had four metal legs and this base thing that you could, that had drawers and stuff and it, yeah we had to like break up like 50 of those so what are you gonna do you can't just throw them in the dumpster it's gonna take a it'll take it's gonna fill up like in no time so we had to smash them down filing cabinets were very hard to destroy it was just a whole very brutal experience so anyways i felt really weird about it for a couple of days and coming to work and seeing all this furniture i was just like oh my god like what the fuck did we do i felt very bad i was very embarrassed and then um lo and behold i there was a silver lining if you've noticed behind me you can't see it i had to move the light down because it was too bright I got a new mini fridge out of the deal because it was in their kitchen and we took everything in their kitchen. We didn't take any of the plates because that could be personal, but whatever. We took their mini fridge and it's pretty clean and it looks like this. Beautiful work right there. What is this thing though? Oh God, what is, oh God, oh God. What is this thing? Oh God, oh God. Okay, I'm never touching that again. And you see, I put, a, I put a light from my balcony in there because it was so dark in there. And my other one's over there. It's much smaller and it's, it, it, I don't know, it's, it's really dark inside the mini fridge. So that's it. And it's, it's really good. And it's very clean. I had to clean it up a bit because they just shut it off and closed it and put tape around it. Some tape on the door. It's a bit jacked up. And, uh, and mold started growing on the plastic, but that's easy to clean as plastic, you know? So that's basically it. Um, I have a new mini fridge now. I love it. And it's full of Honey Jack and beer and uh, some Gatorades and some stuff. So that's it. Um, I can't believe we did that. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, like, a week later, they called us to go get the reception table, which it wasn't a table. It was like a... A big wooden thing with it had a big barcode paint on the front of it and it was attached to the floor like bolted to the floor so we we're thinking we don't have to take that and a photocop and a photoshop printer a minolta printer and a a water cooler thing that you have to attach to a water line so they said there, there was a woman there that was like kind of in charge she had like a, a sheet of inventory sorry we just bought everything there's a fucking inventory lady we're taking it all embarrassed and ashamed taking it all and and so they had to go back and get that stuff. But we thought they were renting it, so anyways, they go back and get it, and, and I said to Rob, who went with Dan to go get the stuff, I said, so is it like all, like all abandoned and whatever? And he says, no, everyone's back, they just have all new furniture now and everything. So I was like, oh, so no one lost their jobs? He's like, no, it's, no, it's a new company called Believe, I believe. Oh, God. So I'm like, ah, I felt better about my new, uh, my new uh, mini fridge, which you already saw in the video. So that's it. I go out. This video, uh, I felt embarrassed and ashamed. And what? Like, you just throw us into that? Like, it was, I was fucking pissed. Spitting everywhere. So I go out. This video goes out. Happy Father's Day. If you're a father, my niece got me a, a charger. She's not my daughter, but she's, I practically am her father. Her father's a fucking deadbeat. You never see her. It's fucking sad. Anyways, I go out. Bye! Ugh. Why are you so angry right now? No one knows.